Hello everyone, today we are going to take a detailed look at this LEGO Ice Planet 2002 set, the Ice Station Odyssey. The Ice Planet 2002 theme always feels a little bit special because this is one of the first bigger LEGO sets that I got under the LEGO Space theme. Without further ado, let's get started with some of the design. We will start looking at this vehicle first. So this surface uh, vehicle has two parts, of course you can detach it, but I'm not going to detach it now because the uh, very typical or common um, wheels for any uh, space uh, vehicles and you can open this up to hold a rocket. Unfortunately, I have one missing piece uh, which I wouldn't replace immediately because it doesn't any out uh, well affect the stability or the looks of the vehicle. And here you can you know place the rocket just like this. Uh, so you can transport the rocket to different places and one thing to highlight is actually this printed piece is here and then we also have a, a smaller sl slow mobile so we have uh, you know the same printed pieces here is a much much simpler design but with the uh, uh, you know the, the thing that you need well uh, what do this call I, I can't recall what this actually called but you get what I mean is, you know, typically you get from all these uh, snowmobile type bagels. Now we're going to take a look at the eye station. You can see the race base plate here. So it's not one piece. So this is um, another thing, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 16 by uh, 32 uh, base plate uh, over here uh, in white color. Basically connect by just, you know, two simple bricks. We've got some rocket racing here, which I'll go for some of the action feature, but really love the base plate. And if we go back or, or turn it around, um, at the back, it's actually looking pretty cool because I especially love this uh, clear, clear orange piece. It's a very big piece that Lego don't make anymore. And in fact, I just noticed that I don't have any scratches on um, such big clear piece, which is very rare nowadays. Unfortunately, I did misplace some of Parts. Well, basically, you have watched the uh, video of me rebuilding this set. Um, you know the parts just not in the box. Probably is, you know somewhere in in, in the storage in in other box. So uh, here got a few parts also missing. Uh, and I love uh, the the way that they create the gate here. Although you can actually get around it, but assuming you can't, right? I think the whole setting is that you kind of need to go through uh, this gate here. Otherwise. I think these are lasers so if you you know pass through this or sleep over here which you know it's a very a common thing given that it's going to be a slippery surface that you might end up in uh, multiple pieces now there are no stickers in this set so this piece is also a printer so basically it's a radar that you can spin around and now here you see the rocket here which kind of you know using the same mechanism to hold the rocket the action feature itself i actually um, very impressed by it after I rebuilt it because uh, you see at uh, this uh, dialer here how it works is I think it's gonna be this angle you can see uh, see it better so you just need to spin it and well, I think I spin the wrong way you can see um, you know the whole thing kind of integrate and kind of kind of push the uh, rocket up so so the idea is that you know it will um, it's a launcher, right? So the whoever the engineer is controlling, this is the control panel, and it kind of adjusts um the radar and stuff, uh, and then push the rocket up, and this is how the rocket's going to be launched. And it's simple, but it just works so well. And this is not the only action features as well. For the other action features, I will first just remove the rocket from the center because you can see a rocket lying here. And you know, back in the 90s, the Lego often used uh, this uh, magnetic piece. So basically, this is the arm that you can adjust, and then you can attach the rocket. Bring, oops, I think I, I pushed it too hard, but like you can see, you can bring it up, and uh, the point you need to hold it is you know, the rocket is a little bit heavy, and the joint is, is not strong enough to hold it together, but I managed to make it stationary. So you can kind of push this over here. And then you know can can adjust probably I kind of got it the wrong way but you you see how how it works you know you can just uh, kind of place the rocket here uh, 
like this and then kind of close off and then use the other dialer to kind of launch it. So this is how, how it works. Is it a, a rocket or a missile? But well, I think it's looking more like a missile. Anyway, um, the action features is actually pretty impressive. I'm not sure if you know I had the same feeling. I can't recall the exact moment that after I built this set and I played with it, that I got the same feeling. But right now, as an adult, after rebuilding this set, I was very impressed, not just with the quality of the clear pieces, but also all the action features integrated in uh, this set. Here are the three mini figures included in this set. So on the left, we've got the chief, and then we've got uh, two uh, team members uh, with uh, two different gender. You can see from the torso, uh, the different class of the uh, mini figures, and also you know the legs as well. They do have um, you know the uh, tank at the back, and you know all those orange clear pieces are just looking so good, especially the chainsaw. I only have one chainsaw in this set it's supposed to have a few more but again it's kind of part of the missing pieces and love the helmet and you can see you know since in, in the early, early 90s or late 80s they start introduce a different uh, mini figure face and ice planet 2002 seem kind of you know introduce a bit, few more variants so we've got the chief uh, here which is kind of an older person we've got the female and the male and these are all great mini figures and the latest uh, lego series 26 also have a other mini figure and although with a slightly different helmet i think it's just a bit more modernized and, and a bit more detailed compared to this variant but i still love uh, all this variant and can't wait for series 26 to be available in new zealand and this is the ice station odyssey i think it's a really good set uh, with excellent play features and of course you can't compare the details of the um, you know interior or any any building techniques but you know considering the era of this set that has released is an excellent set and you know the quality is very good you can see you know all these pieces are still uh, in pristine conditions funny enough it's already 2024 and we yet to visit any icy planets and it's a set that I like very much, even though I do have a few missing pieces, which I think I will find time to locate the missing pieces. And that's pretty much the set. And let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. And of course, you can always check out the video of me building this set.